So welcome to afternoon ACIM. It's probably like eight o'clock, but that's okay. Cause there is no will but God. So, you know, fine, let's go with it. I'm so tired. Like what do I even do here? <laughs> Am I gonna be able to um, have a, like a normal like schedule like everybody else and still be able to pull these off? Yeah, sure. You know why I'm so tired today? Not because I worked. No. I'm so tired today because I took my daughter to the dentist and then we went to Walmart. It, and then also like working in a little daylight savings time and traveling on the interstate with all these big semi trucks. Oh my gosh. Like does everybody drive west on Monday at 5 p.m.? Mm -hmm. All my trucker friends, is that what's going on? It was crazy, very congested. Yeah, I'm just tired. I'm just tuckered out, but that's okay. I'm gonna maybe finally take off my jacket um, and try on my new pants and my new shoes that you need to have when you're a white tress, okay? All right, well, that's the update on my life, but this video isn't about my life. This video is about Lesson 74. There is no will but God's. Did I think about this every half hour or whatever they wanted us to? No, mm -mm. no, I didn't. I'm not the, really the best student, um, but I'm gonna keep going because, um, hey, drug. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going because here's the thing. I told you day one, introductory, why do the Course of Miracles of me? Remember like 2021 franchise, remember all that? I said, hey, this intro video is inviting you to tell you why to do it but the rest of them are gonna be for me. And you know, up until this point, I really feel like it's, it's and it still is, me on the, daily, on the daily helping me. But when I think about the future, I think, wait, if I do the Course of Miracles again next year, which I probably should, <laughs> like I'm doing this for next, next year. So I sort of let myself off the hook some days, like today, when, yeah, I really did not do a good idea of giving a lot of time to think about this stuff because I was driving and think and trying not to wreck. And, um, and like, but then like next year, I'm really going to benefit from me watching my own damn videos next year. Although Brad's going to do some videos too. <laughs> All right. I need to t let Jesus tell you about I'm gonna tell you about Jesus, and then I'm gonna try to wake up, or I'm not. Is this why people come home and fall asleep in their clothes? Is this what real people feel like? Oh, this is terrible. Don't go to Walmart, you know? That's, but how else are you gonna try on shoes and pants? You know what I mean? So Jesus today on the Tina Jesus channel uh, was talking about free will planet, right? What we mentioned the other day, this is a free will planet. So conflict, that's what lesson 74 was all about. You know, the conflicts are not real. I cannot be in conflict because there is no will but God's. Well, what we have to understand is because it is a free will planet, conflict is allowed. Oh yeah. It's like, it's like the whole planet's like Las Vegas, you know? Conflict is allowed. So when we're down here in these lower vibrational states, uh, we do see that there's a lot of drama being played out. A lot of misaligned forces lacking light and love is down here playing out their drama. But God allows it because free will. Okay, it's like when people have that moment like, I can't believe God let this happen to this, you know, whatever, beautiful family. Well, it's a free will planet. So God is actually, not only does he allow it, but really he's like not even involved in the lower frequencies. When things get really dark, yeah, God ain't there. <laughs> it's allowed to be, it's a free will planet, but God doesn't dip down into that lower frequency shit. You have to surrender to joy and inner guidance and happiness and raise your frequency and then 
what Jesus was saying, it's usually only then that you get a little whiff of God and you start to sense God. But when you're down in lower frequencies, yeah, you're not picking up on God vibes. So God vibes, yeah. God resides in, re in the realm, in the real realm of love. Yeah, I love that word now, real realm of love. That's where God is. When you withdraw, and that doesn't always just mean falling asleep, when you withdraw into the ego world, into the lower frequency states, the lower frequency laws apply, and they are put in by the misguided, misaligned, dark forces that are lacking love and light and playing out their drama. So yeah, it's a crazy, insane world. So the other things that, that Jesus want to talk about, yes, God resides in the realm of love, but also um, when you're noticing craziness out in the world, you've got to notice the conflicts going on in your mind and ask yourself, which will am I lined up with? Am I lined up with the will of God or am I lined up with ego's will? So how do you know the difference? Well, God's lined up with love, health, happiness, peace. The ego's will is fear, separation, conflict, drama, violence. You know, which one are you lined up with? You got to understand whatever you're lined up with in your mind is going to be reflected out into the world that you live in. So take your time and choose well. Take your time and choose well. Even though this is a free will planet, you are still free to choose well. So the whole goal of today's exercise, Lesson 74, is to find peace. Is to say, I'm looking for peace. I'm seeking it and that's what I wanna look for. So anyways, uh, probably should re-listen to the mornings, the morning reading of this. But yeah, we want to clear our mind. We want to sink into that feeling. Oh my gosh! And really, you know, try to find that peace, discover that peace. I am at peace. I cannot be in conflict. I'm at peace. Yeah, and just all day long. Even though I didn't really think about this lesson specifically. This theme this week about, you know, not holding grievances, not having conflicts, that did stay with me. And I did do a pretty damn good job of, you know, not seeing my conflicts as real and not choosing conflicts and not feeding conflicts. Like, I did a pretty good job and I got lots of tests, believe me. Believe me. All right. Pathways of Light Insight. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 74, Insights. There is no will but God's. As I worked with practicing the exercise and remembering there is no will but God's, I found my mind wandering to today's to-do list. As my mind focused on that list, I became aware of tension building in me. I saw that this list represents conflicting goals. I think they all need to be done and there is not enough time. So I brought my mind back, back to there is no will but God's. Conflicting goals cannot be real. I am giving that list a meaning it does not have of itself. As I step back from the importance I place on all these things and remind myself there is no will but God's, I feel myself relax. My shoulders soften. My forehead is relaxed and smooth. I breathe easier. From that perspective, I am open to spirit's guidance as to what is meaningful and what is not meaningful on the list. 
I am open to be guided where to go, what to do, what to say, and to whom. I work with the same list, but I follow a different guide. The guide who knows a much bigger picture than I can possibly perceive. With this greater vision, he leads me in every moment to be truly helpful. And I move through the day in peace rather than stress and conflict. With this practice, I know that in my doing, I am serving love, supporting peace because I am letting go of conflict. Without the illusion of conflict, the desire, the reality of peace fills my world. It is my desire to remember in full that my will is God's. Today is another day of practice and moving toward that awakening. There is no will but God's. In God's will, there is no conflict. If I experience conflict, it is always between two illusions. Illusions are not true. Illusions are not real. As I recognize this, I see that conflict is not real. There is only God's will, and in God's will, there is no conflict. As I am willing to see conflict as an illusion and let it go, because it is merely meaningless. The peace of God returns to my awareness. I am filled with the peace of God. Whenever I am tempted to believe that conflict is real, I can remind myself there is no will but God's. There is no conflict in God. What is not of God is merely illusion. As I can remember this, it helps me let the idea of conflict go. I don't fight with conflict. I don't defend against conflict. I merely see that it is meaningless. I drop it. I let it go. This is the true meaning of forgiveness. When I see conflict is merely meaningless, nothing, and let it go, it is replaced by peace. It is replaced by remembering that only God's will is real. There is only one will. I am willing to rest in this remembering today. I am willing to see past illusions of conflict to the one truth that only God's will is real. There is no will but God's. An illusion is simply a thought of separation. That's all. And it simply cannot be any part of my true reality. As I release all mistaken perceptions of separation that I hold within the sleeping part of my mind, I am left with only what is real. I am left with perfect peace, perfect love, perfect joy, perfect unity with all that is. This is my Father's will for me. It can be no other way. Being the extension of my Father, it is my will also. It can be no other way. Thank God. Pathwaysoflight.org All right, good job, you. Yes, it's that time. (laughs) Have you ever seen me this tired? There is no cookie but God's. There is no cookie but God's. Okay, so 
That's the only real realm. Good night. <laughs>